Hello and welcome to The Simpsons Tapped Out for Beginners. Today I'm going to show you how to build a uh, 3D pyramid in your town. So let's go ahead and get started. A little bit of time to load. Now it's telling me that the other device didn't save. I'm not too sure why the game does this, but it's actually a glitch where if uh, you log out on your other device, even though it saves everything to that moment, it'll still give you this error message. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit play now and then continue. For those of you who are wondering how it is that I'm playing on a computer, I'm using a program called BlueStacks. You can download it at bluestacks.com. I'm using a town that has been uh, volunteered to me. If you like, uh, if you'd like to add her as a friend or a neighbor in the game, you can just scroll back to the beginning and uh, add the username from the bottom left corner. All right, so we are now in the town. Uh, let's look for the space that uh, I've set up where I'm gonna be building this. I think I'm going to need to zoom out, and I'm going to do this by holding the control key and uh, pressing minus or hyphen a bunch of times until it won't let me go anymore. Okay, so we've got the space that I set up right over here. Now I'm going to use the Aztec Theater, which is in inventory. And I'm going to put this right over here. It's going to work. Now I'm going to build a frame of hedges around the, the theater. Most people don't know that it's probably a better idea to start at the top and work your way down rather than starting from the bottom and working your way up. Uh, most people would make this mistake because uh, the way a pyramid would have to be built in real life or with Legos, for example, is you would start from the bottom and build your way up. But because this whole thing is an illusion, we're able to play around. We're not really affected by gravity, so we'll start at the top. And then as I do this, you'll see why it's just more natural. Uh, maybe not natural looking, but natural feeling. So let's get started as soon as I find these hedges in the menu. Here they are. So I'm going to make a rectangle. I think uh, here's a good place to start. And I'm going to go the whole way around, but keep in mind the top layer is going to be the only layer that you go the whole way around. On the next layers that you go, you're only going to do the front two layers, and I will show you how that's going to work. So we have enough going this way. I think that'll do it. Now let's see. We are just about lined up. complete the rectangle, but then I'm going to leave an open space once I get to the middle. It's going to be right here, so we're going to go one, two, leave those two spaces open, and keep going 
for the rest of the way. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I'm adding a little special feature uh, where I'm going to stack benches in a way that they look like stairs. You don't have to do this if you want. You can just go the whole way around and ignore that part uh, without the benches. It's going to be pretty uh, simple change. You just keep going. So <coughs> I'm going to make uh, two more layers so you can see how that's going to work. So now I'm going to grab the large head again. And when we start, we want to make sure to line up the top edge of this edge to the bottom edge of this edge and also line up corner to corner. So this corner is there, and that's how you know that you're at the right end point. And we're going to keep going until we get to this opening. And there we're going to line it up corner to corner as well. Although we went one past, uh, while buying the hedges, you can just uh, push back the hedge and what it'll do is buy a square instead of a full size hedge. It's not going to work the same when you're moving the hedges you already have, but while we're buying them, it's just going to affect the purchase. If you notice when I uh, click the check, well, it's still charging the same amount, uh, so it's a little bit of a ripoff, but I guess that's the cost of convenience. So I'm going to go back again, corner to corner, line to line, and we're just going to keep going. Now here you don't want to worry so much about the corner because we're on the front end. Because if you line up the corner to corner here, and then <coughs> I'll show you what happens when you do that. If I line up the corner to corner here, and then I have the corner to corner over there, what we end up with is an opening. So don't worry so much about the corners rather than the lines to make sure that we wrap the whole way around. So I'm going to grab... So if you have that sort of scenario, you just want to extend it one more out that way. And then we just wrap the whole way around. And I'm going to do it the normal way with the next row. And then we just keep going. We're at the corner. This corner right here meets that corner right there. So we're done with this row. And then I'm going to go... Corner to corner, edge to edge, bottom of, bottom of this matches top of that. We're going to keep going until we get to the opening, or to the corner. See this corner is not meeting the corner, so we got to bring, bring it back to meet it. And then this corner to that corner. And now we're at the corner, but we don't really need to push it back. We can just continue this way, and it's still the same layer. They meet at the same angle, and we're lined up. So when it comes to the front, as long as the line is matched up, just make sure to go the whole way around, and that this right here keeps going until it meets that right there and don't leave out your intersection. Alright, so that's three layers. Uh, I'm not going to make you uh, wait for me to build the whole thing. I'm just going to do a couple uh, of layers while I speed up time and uh, I'll reiterate everything that, that I mentioned when I do the last layer. Alright, so we have one level left to build, and I'm just going to go through that process again real quick, and I'll show you how you do the benches so that they look like stairs. So first let's 
put on that last row of hedges. And there it is. So uh, we're going to start lining corner to corner like this corner and then the line. And we're one ahead of the corner, so I'm going to bring it back and match the corner. And then match this corner to that corner. wrap it the whole way around. Alright, that's it for the bushes. Now if you notice there's a little bit of space, it's uh, two uh, grid squares worth of space from the pyramid to the road. I did that so that the user could decorate that area, maybe put some trees in front or whatever they like. If you want, you could bring the pyramid all the way up to the front of the road, uh, however you choose to do it. Let's see if we can find those benches. I'm going to go with these right here. Now the way I set it up, they should fit right into place, but I'm going to explain the concept. You put the top one right in between the hedges for the top level, and then when you go down, you want to line up just the way you're lining up the hedges. You're lining up the top of this bench with the bottom of that bench. There's a little bit of a gap in between, but it's still more or less lined up. But if you set up the uh, hedges properly, then... Well, actually, I was going to say you have no choice but to do it correctly, but you see what you want to do is skip a line. So don't just go and don't follow the natural progression and take the next one that it leads you to, because then you're just going to end up with a row of benches. You want to make sure every time that the top of the bottom one is below the bottom of the bench above it. We're going to take them down, line them up. And there you have it, a finished, uh, finished pyramid. Just going to move the theater a little bit, keep it centered, but maybe further back so it looks a bit better in there. And that's all it is to it. Thank you for uh, tuning in, and happy tapping, everyone.